actually just want to talk to you. Just, you know. um, but you, you say y'all have heard the Israelites before? Which y'all have heard about it, you know? Uh, I like the thing I heard about it that us, we were Israelites and stuff like Who that. Who is us? You said us like it was part of a group. Like, what group? We, we are Israelites. Who's we? Like me and you? Yeah. You and him? Are they are they Israelites right there? No, they're not Israelites now. Nah. Right. So so you're saying black people. Yeah. Okay, that's just no problem. It's cool because we, we we agree. You same thing? Black people? Something, something like that. Something like that? Okay, so if I was to ask you what your nationality is, what would you tell me? Yeah, what's your race? Oh African American, right? But you just said we Israelites. Yeah. So why you go by African American if we Israelites? You see that, right? Now let me let me just let me just make a point to you guys. You know, Africa and America are three continents, right? Can you be from New Orleans and Baton Rouge? You can't be from Lafayette and Lake Charles, right? You got to be from one or the other. But how could you be African with all these different countries and American, which is two continents with more countries? It don't make no sense. Like a lot of us we call each other black too, right? Those shorts are black. Are you that color? Like, are you this color right here? No, we're not, right? So what I'm doing is I'm showing you that the things that we call in ourselves is what our, I guess, oppressors have given to us. And it's not really our nationality. Like, what's your name? Marty, right? Marlon? Okay, so your name is Marlon, right? If you, Your parents named you Marlon, obviously. If somebody stole you from your parents at three years old, would you know that your name is Marlon? But would you want to know your, what your parents named you? Exactly. As a people, we should want to know where our roots and our heritage come from. And that's what the Bible says. Uh, if y'all have a second, we could go through a few. For sure. All right, well, this is how we know that black people are Israelites, so we can prove it. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And I want you to read verse uh, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now God just told the Israelites right here, if they don't listen to him, he's going to make bad things or curses happen to them, right? Now, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just showing you that. This is how we know that black people are Israelites because a lot of bad things have happened to our people. And we about to correlate it with what it said in the Bible. Let's go to verse 30. Uh -huh. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. It said we would take a woman to be our wife, and another man would break her, right, or take her away from her. Did, did our people get raped ever in history? You about to say the same thing, right? In slavery, yeah. right? We would take women, right? It would jump the broom. That's what they used to do. And then the master would be like, you know, I want her right there. Yeah. All right? What else will happen? Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. They said we would build houses, but we wouldn't dwell in it, right? So who was building up these big mansions for their masters and stuff? That's right. That's right, man. Like, right. You were building the house, but where were they sleeping at? Exactly. So while you was building a nice house, you was then turning around and sleeping in the shed somewhere, yeah. right? You would build houses, but you wouldn't dwell in it. What else? And thou, and thou shalt plant a vineyard. And thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. So you are planting vineyards. You'll be in the in the fields, right? Planting the, the food and the corn and wine, whatever. But you wouldn't gather the grapes for that, meaning you wouldn't reap the benefit of planting those things in the garden. Right? You would not you, you barely got any food. You're struggling to eat day in and day out, right? In thirty two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So it said our sons and our daughters will be given to another people. How do we get here to America? Y'all know? Uh, I think, uh, you travel here by boats, right? Do you think they were taking grown men? 
they were taking they were taking mainly children, right? Because grown men are more likely to what fight back. You think I'm gonna just let somebody take me across some ocean that I don't know? Yeah. Most men would die before that happens, right? Yeah. But 15 year olds, 14 year olds, they gonna do what they told. They haven't developed the courage yet. So when you actually look in history, it was mainly children from 15 down that they would take across the water. All right, it said your children will be taken from you. What else? And then I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. So you will see them get taken and you wouldn't be able to do nothing about it. Now you said we got here on boats, right? Give me 68, same thing. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop right there. So the Israelites, when you read the Bible, when they were in Egypt, they were slaves. They were building up the pyramids and all those different uh, monuments that you see in Egypt. Why? Because the slave class always is the one that builds up the nation that they're under. Just like us. We were the slave class and we built up most of this country known as America, right? They were slaves in Egypt. God just saved them from that by the time we read in Deuteronomy. So he's saying, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to put you back in slavery again. Back in that state of oppression, right? To bring you into Egypt again. How? With ships. How? With ships. With ships. That's how we got here. And that's how our people are, wherever they are, because we're not just in America. Right? We're in many different countries, but that's the method of transportation that they're using. What happened? By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There we shall be what? Sold unto your enemies. Were we not sold? We got off the boats, right? Yeah. They wash you up, spray some water. Yeah, they, they do like this. They look at you. Your teeth good. Your eyes good. Your ears good. Right? Oh, this this a good one right here. This will last. Hey, look. $500. That's what they do, right? Once you got off the ship, you'll be sold for what? For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. Slave women. They'll look at a nice female and say, oh, look how good she looks. This will be a good wench for you to lay in bed with. That's what they would do. Right? And what? And no man shall buy you. No man shall. No, more, no one will redeem us from that. Right, that's why we're still here today. Right, so y'all knew that y'all were Israelites. This is just a little bit of the proof. I would, you know, just encourage you all to, you know, keep that in mind in your day to day walk. Y'all keep the commandments? I love you. I love you. What do you think you need to work on? Y'all eat pork? Y'all ain't no pork? You don't eat no, no pepperoni pieces? I don't eat pieces. You don't eat pieces? I eat pieces. You eat pieces? I eat pieces. 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 I <laughs> hey, my son, get you some brown beef, some like, like the hamburger, you know. Oh, you want the hamburger? Yeah. The beef, the brown, like the beef on it's pretty good. Real quick, let me show you this last one just, just before you go. Let's show them about pork. Leviticus 11 and 7 right here. All right. So you could, you know, because Israel, as Israelites, one of the things that God said, the reason why we in this lower state that we're in as a people is because we don't listen to God. Right? He'll tell us to do something or not to do something, and we just do it anyway. Right, I used to eat pepperoni pizza too, but I was a meat lover. Pepperoni, bacon, sausage. That's all my pizza, all of them. All right. But when I read this and learned that, that I'm not black, that I'm not African American, and I'm an Israelite, now I got to start doing what God told me to do. Right. So, let's show them that Leviticus 11 and 7, right quick. And the swine. The swine. When you look it up. It's pig. Right. The swine. Though he divided the hoof. Though he divided the hoof. And be cloven footed. Mm -hmm. Then he choose not to cut, he is unclean to you. He is what? Unclean. So he is unclean, right? What else? Of their flesh shall you not eat. Of their flesh, right? Pepperoni, sausage, ham, lunch meat, right? Of their flesh shall you not eat. And their carcass shall you not touch. You really can't even touch them. They are unclean to you. Exactly, right? So just wanted to show you, that's one of the things, you know, there's plenty of them, but you know, you all trying to get somewhere, so. Sure. Hey, you got, you got a question, bro?
Yeah. I I'm I'm the same way, bro. I'm the I well no I ain't gonna, let me let me change let me change what I just said. I was the same way, right? Right. All that stuff you talking about? I did the same. You talking about bacon? Say what? I used to go to Sonic and get the bacon, egg, and cheese. I'd be good, but you can't do that no more, bro. Well, you just it's like a you know it's a slow process. Nobody. I ain't gonna say. I, well, I dropped pork quick because I really I didn't. It wasn't like a a thing where it was that good to me. Like oh, oh whatever. But some that I, I did struggle with was shrimp. That's another thing we can't eat. But it's just like you know you try to wean yourself off of it, and that's how it, you know do better like that. What's up, bro? No problem, bro. I mean, we could have just let y'all keep walking, bro. Yeah. So, bro. Yeah, let me know if you got any questions. You too, man. Give me that in uh, Mark 4 right quick and 14. See, because you, you always have that one, that one dude, bro. That one dude, bro. I swear, bro. He said, man, we got something to do. You ain't going to sit your ass out, but you ain't got nothing waiting on you. No, see, what be happening is when we get a group and they go in, if they bowling, you know bowling, they start the time. So it's like, nigga, why are you, why are you starting the bowling without your group? Yeah. Then it's like, oh, well, now we got to pull them away because we ain't trying to waste our bowling time. You should have never started. Yeah. Right, there ain't nobody but say, uh, what's that, Mark 4 and 14? The sower soweth the word. The sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside. Where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. See, these two brothers, they're trying to listen to the word. And we get it. They're trying to get out of here, too. But we can't let them just escape. We got to get as much of the word to them as possible before they slither on out of here. Right? But then you got the, the sower sowing the word, and then they got this guy on the wayside. He's like, hey, man, you know, we got our bowling. You know, it's time to start. Yeah, bro. You can uh, 